Let us practice for the quiz on polynomial functions. The question is, given a quintic polynomial with zeros minus 3, minus 2 of order 2, 2 order 2, that passes through the point 1 minus 18. So we are given three zeros here. One of them is a linear zero. The other two are of order 2. And the graph of this quintic, that means degree 5 polynomial, passes through the point 1 minus 18. Part A of the question is determine an equation for the polynomial and B is to describe its end behavior. So let's start with finding the equation of this polynomial. So the function f of x should be equals to a times x minus the first zero which is minus 3 that makes it plus 3 times x minus the other zero which is minus of minus 2 since it is order 2 we'll put a square here right and then the next zero which is x minus 2 of order 2 so that becomes the equation of this quintic polynomial now to find the value of a we can substitute x as 1 and f of 1 as minus 18 so we get minus 18 equals to a times 1 plus 3 1 plus 2 whole square times 1 minus 2 whole square. That gives us a times 1 plus 3 is 4, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 square is 9, and 1 minus 2 is minus 1, and the square of minus 1 is 1, right? So that's what we get, and from here we can find the value of a, right? So we get minus 18 equals to 9 times 4, 36. A, right? So what I'll do is I'll divide 18 minus with 36 to get the value of A. So from here we get A equals to minus 18 divided by 36, which is minus half, right? So the function, the quintic function for us is f of x is equal to minus half x plus 3 times x plus 2 whole square times x minus 2 whole square. So that is part A, the equation of our polynomial. Part B is describe its end behavior. Now as you can see, the leading coefficient is going to be negative, right? When you multiply x, x, all these x's, it will be x to the power of 5 with the leading coefficient of minus half. Now since the leading coefficient is minus half we know the end behavior and the end behavior is that it is opposite ends and right side down right so so the function basically will be kind of starting from quadrant 3 and landing into quadrant 4 starting from quadrant 2 to 4 right so that is how the function is going to be right so based on this we can always write down the end behavior and that is as x approaches negative infinity, y approaches positive infinity, right? This one. And as x approaches positive infinity, y approaches negative infinity. It's going unbound downwards, correct? So that is how we can write down the end behavior. Now let us also try to sketch this function. We know the zeros are at minus 3. Let us say this is minus 3 for us minus 2 let's say this is minus 2 and then one we have at 2 now at minus 3 it's a linear 0 right so it'll just cross the line here so it'll kind of crossing like this but at minus 2 we have order 2 so it will bounce back correct and here also it will going to bounce back therefore if you draw the function then let me draw it in a different ink it will be kind of like this so so when you are approaching from here for example right it goes like this through this comes bounces back you see this bounces back like this and then it goes kind of like this so that is how we are going to sketch our function f of x where these values are minus 3 minus 2 and 2 for us we can always find f of 0 and then we'll get the y-intercept, right? So as an exercise, 
you can neatly sketch this graph and also find the value of f of 0 that is the y intercept. I hope that helps you to understand how to sketch and analyze a polynomial function given its zeros. Thank you and all the best.